So with the new kits that are out this week uh, for The Sims 4, the Riviera Retreat and the Cozy Distro kits, I thought we might um, jump in and do a little base game renovation um, of one of the existing builds and freshen it up with the kits. So let's jump straight into it. Um, so I'm thinking we might do, I mean, they call it a nightclub, but it looks more like a bar. Um, and just give it a freshen up. So I'm going to turn it into like a mini hotel with a bistro down the bottom and then there'll be like a pool area at the back for the guests. So it won't work as a hotel obviously but um, we could set it up maybe maybe as a bar. So I'm thinking like down here we could have a bar area. I want to move the toilets down here and then a seating dining area and then out the back will be a little courtyard with a pool and then a couple of guest rooms up here we'll have a bit more room because we'll get rid of the um, toilets from up here so out the front and i'm just going to jump straight into it here if i can get my camera out i'm getting rid of this because i hate that, like that. now i really want to open up the front Hang maybe. Uh, I'm getting rid of a lot of the um, upper balcony. So I want to yeah bring the, open the front up a lot. Uh, we'll get these. I thought we could make use of these across the front to give it a little a bistro, a bit of a bistro feel. Um, and actually what I'm going to do is I think I want to keep a little trim. Let's see my little buttons here. Out the front here, I want to keep a little trim. Um, have a little bit of overhang for the roof. To give a bit more, because we're going to keep this balcony out here. I want a bit of coverage from the weather. Now, uh, so I'll show you what I mean. If I have a little, little temporary wall here, and I need to go back to here. I think I'm going to size them up just to give it, yeah, a bit more coverage under the balcony because when they're normal size, they're quite small. And then if we get rid of that wall. Gives us more area out here because we'll have uh, more dining area out here. And then this piece here will just be uh, a little piece of extra roof. Just something simple like this. Resize it, make it a bit shorter. Pull those edges in a bit. Yeah, and we'll, I think we're going to use different windows anyway. Walls and windows, so we're going to get rid of these. And these are the new doors that come with the bistro kit. They're really cute. Uh, and there's also an option. So we're going to have maybe the main entrance there. Because we also have these, which I think would look nice along here just to really open the place up. And there's new windows as well that match. But we could bring these along here. And then like we might still keep some of the original windows, but I know it's not realistic, but we're gonna shuffle them along because they're kind of oddly placed. It's still not even, obviously. You need to come in. I think that's better, a bit more balanced. Um, I was going to go away from the green 
theme, but I think I'm going to lean into it, like, and just go for it. Because these come in a really nice, rich, foresty green colour. And then these come in the green as well, the green, like green and gold touches. Yeah, I think that's really cute. Um, and I'm going to tone it down a bit, I think, for these windows up here. Just to give your eyes a bit of a break from all the green. Can this come out one more? Yes. Don't actually need stairs when it's only one raised one block. I can just fall straight up, so I think we're going to get rid of those because they don't match the trim anyway. And then with the bricks, I think we're going to freshen them up a bit. And I'm going to try and keep it base game and just the kits. Yeah, I think we're going to go for white downstairs to brand it up a bit. And then on the upper floor, these come in like a brown colour. Yeah, I think we're going to go for... Now it's kind of still realistic, like they've obviously gone through and cleaned up the bricks and maybe regrouted them. And then down here they've just done a wash over them. Um, that's not realistic, it's just lifting windows up, <laughs> but I don't know if we'll keep those windows because they might not suit that area. I'm going to put the bar in. Same with up here. Now the other thing I'd like to do is pull this balcony all the way along. And we'll probably turn it into separate little balconies for the bit for the um, hotel rooms. Brightens up the build a bit, and then it needs something to separate the two floors. I wish we had a better green for up here. I like the other one because it's a bit chunky. Chunky. Is that too bright? Not to say. We need to freshen it up a bit, so I'm thinking I'm gonna try and make this green work. And then we'll bring some of this brown down here with the floorboards. Maybe just a brown, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to replace all of these with something else. Uh, and yeah, I'm thinking maybe just bringing more of the... this wood colour through. That's better. And then maybe... I might need to tone down the green trim a bit, <laughs> which is a lot. <laughs> I like this fence. Has this always been base game? I can't remember it being there before. Go there because of the roof piece, I'm assuming. Yeah, we'll fix that at the back here as well. Okay, I've toned down the green a bit. It was just getting a little bit too much. Um. And I think it's nice with the white crisp, the crisp white. Uh, and then we'll add some planner boxes and things as well. And that'll bring in some more greenery. Um, and so along the sides here. We're going to do, I think, three rooms at the top here with small bathrooms. I think we'll just keep it quite small. And then 
just kind of separate off the balconies so they've each got their own little section. It's got rid of all that garish green, but <laughs> I think a little bit, maybe along here, just to pull that theme through. And then, yeah, like I've said before, I'm not sure about these windows down here. Maybe we could go with more. Maybe there's another entrance over here in between like the bar and the toilets, where the toilets will be. In which case we might actually just get rid of those and pull more, more of these around. Maybe we keep some of those, keep that one. So I'm going to try and um, finish the outside and then we'll move into the inside. So we've got these new cute little tables and chairs from the bistro kit. Bistro, bistro. Um, and they come with this really pretty green colour, so I think... Um, I mean everything comes in the pretty green colour, but we're going to use these out the front here. Yeah, I think that's really cute. And then we'll have a few planters and things around. I'll have to go through and do some landscaping. This is really pretty. We definitely need a couple of these. I wonder if we could fit one near the door, maybe one around the corner here. Look at all these little place settings. Um, I don't want to go like, too over the top with clutter and objects, but it... <clears throat> I need to fill the room up, so yeah, I need a little bit of stuff. <clears throat> okay, now we need some plants. Okay, so I've gone ham on the plants. I pulled some of these debug items out just to Put a splash of red through here, just to bring it to life. I found this little piece, which is part of the new bistro kit, um, which I thought that could be obviously the name plaque of the building. Um, I really love these bright pops of red with this deep green. I think that works really well. And then around this side, we've just got yeah, our other entrance and then a few more splatters of plants. Popped a few of these um, wall hanging lights around just to bring that those gold features through and we're gonna do some more of those upstairs on the little private balconies it's hard to get a little good shot here because it keeps bouncing around yeah basically each balcony will have its own light and again more i've done some hanging plants here just to bring a bit of greenery through these are all from the debug um, or live edit menu. Um, yeah, just freshens it up a bit. And yeah, don't want to do, like I said, don't want to do too much clutter, but it just needed a little little bit extra to bring it together. And I think it looks really cute. Um, I popped some of these along here and I put some more, scattered some little red flowers in there as well, just to tie it all in. I was pretty happy with that. I don't know if I'm going to do too much more on these balconies. Um, maybe like just like a bench. Um, like I, yeah, I don't want to go too over the top. I haven't tackled the back yet. Um, but yeah, we'll go through. We'll go through and finish a few more bits off, and then we'll do the back. Okay, yeah. So I've just popped a couple of benches in through here, and then finished off this little these little back decking areas because they're pretty much the same as around that side um, and I pulled out a few bits and pieces from the new kits that I want to include at the back here um, including that piece um, but yeah we're gonna jump in now and do it's gonna have to be a pretty small pool um, <laughs> not a lot of room here but we'll do our best uh, we're gonna get rid of all of this we're definitely not gonna fit a fountain these are pretty cute. Wonder if I can still squeeze that in. Um, 
probably gonna get rid of the red bricks. And then... I think this fence is okay, because you'd want it to be fairly private anyway, so I don't really want to open that too much, but I'm going to extend it because, as I just said, it's going to be pretty small out here. Gives us a bit more room. Because I'd also like to include this, which might have to maybe squeeze in here. It might be like a little area that you walk underneath. Or maybe... If we pull this out here, we can have some lounge chairs here, and then the pool is down this way. And we might even get rid of that gate. Maybe something more like that. It's gonna have to fit in with what we do with the pool. Now all these bits and pieces are in the way. <laughs> there we go, that's out of the way now. Um, let's put the pool in to see how much room we want to take up with that. I mean, I guess I could. Oh, I can't hit. And hit that. What was that issue before? It made me have this sort of thing. Just fill in that area there. Then we can bring it but down here. Pull in that a little bit. There can... it is an arbor. There you go. Yeah, it's a pretty small pool. Does that make it even smaller? <laughs> I'm just thinking that I want to fit in those rocks with the, the fountains on them. I'll show you them soon, and I think they will fit up there. Yeah, so I think that's okay. Then the pool kind of has its own little section down the back here. And we could have a couple more dining spots and then like a little lounging area there. I think that would work well. Um, just thinking maybe this fountain might fit over here nicely in between those two windows. Perfect. And then this is some of the new rocks that we got with the new pack. I'm just gonna plonk them in there and go looking for those fountains in a second. Um, and we got some new trims for the pool as well. Got this one. Which comes in lots of different swatches. We've got this one. It's really pretty as well. It's going to be hard to choose, I think. Maybe we do this one to bring a bit more... Maybe we keep it with that one. I was gonna say to have a bit more green coming out. I don't love that it pokes out there. I mean, I really have squished this pool in. <laughs> Maybe we put some hedging along the back here. That will hide that. Just something like this and then Size them down a little bit. Squish them up a little bit too. That'll hide it a bit better. But we could actually even get rid of some of the fencing now, just open it up a little bit more. Because the, the hedging is going to give quite a bit of privacy anyway. Yeah, I don't mind that. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how the back is going out here. I don't mind keeping this sign. I feel like you know, they might have a live band on a Saturday afternoon. Um, just popped a few more planters around, bring, that, bring a few more pops of red around the back here. It's definitely squeezed a lot in, <laughs> but you know, it just makes it nice and intimate. So now we need to jump into the inside. Um, all of this is going. I might keep the piano. I feel like that kind of fits the vibes. Um, this whole bar area is going. It's going to be our new 
toilets that we're moving downstairs. So, we'll probably get rid of this wall, I think. And then I'm thinking, like, these stairs can be a bit smaller. They don't need to be set in grand. That just gives us a bit more room down the bottom here. And then... Down here we'll have our toilets, restrooms. I feel like two is enough because we'll have a mini bathrooms in the um, rooms upstairs. That gives us room to have like an entrance, some basins, and then two rooms for toilets. It's kind of like a side entrance here. And then I pulled a few bits and pieces out just so we can kind of get an idea of how much room they take up. So we're going to have a bar area there. And then we definitely need to fit some this seating in, which might be along this back wall. I think that works for down here. And then we'll have a few more tables scattered through here. Well, maybe instead of having that right down the back there, we might do something more like this. Because we've got a pretty big open area there. I don't know if I'm going to keep the fire. That'll fit. Um, probably going to carry on with the green theme inside. Well. This also comes in a really nice green. Gonna be a lot of green. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll work. And then we have a little bar here. Sections in the back. We don't need to fit right next to each other. And I love this new wine bottle rack. It's really pretty, really cute. Um, and we definitely need to change the floor. And it probably will be similar. I don't know if I want to match the outside exactly. I always find that a bit weird if you've got the same on the inside as the outside, because obviously the outside would wear a bit more. Maybe even over this side. Get up a bit and then... Nine would actually. I think I need to finish the floor because it's matching the tables too much. <laughs> um, and these, these um, booth seats are a bit hard to angle about, but I found that if you um, put the table down first, then you can connect them up to where they need to go, and then if you then click on the table, you can move everything as a set. Just like you do with other dining um, options. Um, definitely need some seating over here. The bar. I quite like these tables in here, but I don't like that they're matching the floor exactly. <laughs> um, I wonder maybe if there's a rug we could use. That's better. I think that works. And maybe we just size it up a smidge. Yeah, that's better. It fills the space up a bit more as well. And because I love these little things so much, I'm going to put more of them in here. Just go. Let's go hand with them. Why not? Do need a little something over in this section. And actually, we might just do some more tables. Not that you'd want to be too close to the. Maybe not, because you're right next to the toilets. Um, 
So I've just gone through and done a few little finishing touches down the bottom here. Scattered a few plants around, fixed all the lighting. Um, over here I snuck in a little um, coffee machine and tea area because I thought, you know, if it is a um, also a hotel then, you know, guests in the morning might want a cup of coffee. Uh, and then I popped another one of these shelves in here and just a rug to fill in that area there. Uh, the bathrooms I did off camera because they're pretty pretty standard. I just used that mirror in here and uh, I've got some cabinetry with a sink. And I think that's good for down here. And I'm going to jump upstairs and finish up the bedrooms and that'll finish up the build. Uh, I'm going to change these stairs though while I'm here because I want them to be wooden. Yeah, that's better. So upstairs we need to do a bit of work here. Get rid of all of these paintings. Yeah, we're going to leave these up here. More paintings. Another plant there, clipping in the wall. Um, so we're going to have to move. I'm thinking I might just use the same fence inside here. I'm going to have to adjust it. I changed that and shrunk the stairs down a bit. Pretty much we're going to have rooms all along there. those out and then got a room there and a room there to make this into a room that's probably going to fit pretty well inside usually gets rid of all of the wallpaper okay, just get rid of the one um i think we'll get rid of the walkway there. Let's see, it didn't do so well there. <laughs> um, cut, that, cut that off. And then go over to here. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that poking in. Oh, there we go. That's right. I mean, if you hold down shift, you can just pull in one side, whereas if you don't, it does the top and the bottom. Get rid of these, and then this one here we need to build the floor. Uh, then we still have some trims inside. A little bit squishy up here, but there wouldn't be too many people coming and going anyway. But these rooms are going to be pretty small, because they need to have a little bathroom as well. Do that and then bathroom, bathroom. And actually, we'll still fit double beds in, so that's good. This one gets a bigger bathroom because he's just lucky like that. Do a similar thing with the bricks. Need to put some more lighting in here so we can see what we're doing. We hold down Alt while you're painting walls, it covers a whole section. If we hold down shift, it will do a full room. Most of the time, when it gets it right, that's what it's supposed to do. Green up there as well. I don't think that needs to stay brick. Yeah, nice. And then the bathrooms will just pretty much going to duplicate what we have downstairs. Because I think that fits in quite well. This extra piece of wall doesn't need to be there. I'm going to do the bathrooms off camera. I'll do one room on camera and then finish the rest off because this room, this video is going to be getting quite long. Uh, but they're going to be pretty simple rooms anyway. So probably just something like this for the bed. And then we'll just grab some matching bedsides. 
I mean, it's pretty, you're pretty limited when it's the base game. What color is that wood? It's probably not a matchy one, to be honest. It's going to have to be a little bit mismatch. Um, let's move that to the bit so I don't get more room. Might try and fit a dresser in. Obviously, it would be grey. The rest of the furniture. Um, I think a box of bed. Maybe we do something like this just to pay. Um, which do what the place used to be. Uh, maybe they kept some of the old prints and got them reframed um, to use in the new building. So we're going to do a couple of these out of side. Let's get rid of that. And I think we need a rug. Again, I'm not going to overclutter this place. Green in. Interesting color palette, isn't it? And then maybe a nice little plant over here. Get in. Okay, I'm gonna jump off and do the rest of the rooms. And the bathrooms. And we're back for the final tour. And we'll go through and have a look. Okay, here we are. So this is entrance lots of lovely greenery bright pops of red um gorgeous sign at the top there and i'm really loving these awnings at the front come in here this is the main door come in look at the bar over here piano and then more guest seating i put through these uh, like struts at the top there because those lights were hanging from nothing um, I turned it into a a bar and when you have a bar it requires you to have speakers or a stereo so I've got some speakers on the wall uh, and then the rooms upstairs have TVs in them to fulfill all the requirements for that. Um, down this way we have the side entrance and then uh, the toilets down here for the Park, uh, patrons, and then if we come back through here, back through here, and then up to the back deck. We've got seating area out here, and, and arbor, some lovely sun chairs. We can relax by the pool. Don't know how well that goes with a Health and safety when you <laughs> have a bar as well. Drunk people near a pool, kind of deal. But when you're staying here as a guest, it be. Um, back here is all been refreshed. And then if we come in and we go upstairs. Piece of wall there I need to paint. A uh, big long hallway here. And then we've got the guest rooms. This is the one we did together. I just, like I said, I added the TV in. Now uh, the bathrooms are pretty standard. It just followed the same theme as what we had downstairs. Uh, but I put a shower tub in. And up this way, in the second room, we've got two singles, just to switch it up a bit. They've got pretty much the same bathroom. Can you a little look out into the little private balconies out here. Cute. and back through here and we've got one more room down the end here uh, which I've done pretty much the same as the others um, I've switched up a bit of the, the art on the walls and yeah bathroom is exactly the same um, and then up here I've got another little private um, back area um, so I'll pop this up on the gallery um, the link will be in the description. Uh, you can jump onto my link tree. My link tree has uh, my socials, my Twitter. Um, I haven't been on Twitch for a while, but yeah, hoping to get back on there and do some more live streams. My Twitch link is on there. Um, there's also a link directly to my gallery. Um, 
so you can find and see all my new posts. If you like the build, I'd really appreciate if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps me here on YouTube, um, pushing my videos out to more people. Um, and if you'd like to see more, then yeah, I'd love if you subscribe. We've had a few new subscribers in the last couple of weeks. Um, and I, yeah, I should have said a welcome to them at the start of the video, but here we are at the end. So welcome to you guys and welcome to anybody new that hasn't been here before. Um, yeah, so I hope you like the new refreshed um, I've called it the Green Velvet Hotel. It used to be called the Blue Velvet, but now I don't know if Velvet comes in green, but in this case it does. <laughs> so this is the new Green Velvet in Willow Creek. Um, yes, it's up on the gallery. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a good week. See you.